Oh, okay. Hello, hi, hi, I'm Sean here. Uh, so I'm an IT engineer. I work in a Japanese operation uh, in the digital transformation team. So uh, we uh, do uh, some kind of end uh, LP solutions. Uh, prior, but also prior to my to my current team, also I also uh, did my own IT solutions in, uh, for example, uh, chemical maintenance where you know we create sensors in the pools and uh, connect, and then also I you know we try to uh, remotely actuate uh, sample uh, control pumps uh, from, uh, from wherever wherever the end user is. So uh, I want to share. I do some sharing about my current project today. So actually, this uh, this idea came. This this project that I was doing is also partly inspired by work as well, because uh, part, uh, my first I was experiencing working with you know uh, open WRT gateways or at least evaluating some of them for you know for my uh, for some of my company's IoT requirements. So uh, I thought you know uh, it'd be an interesting thing to try to see how we can. Uh, you know, use an open WRT gateway to uh, connect some of the IoT devices and then connect it to the cloud. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, what's the hardware involved? Uh, basically, it's a Raspberry Pi, and you can either use uh, one or two uh, ESP32 uh, ESP devices. So uh, I later I I show you the video first and later we're going to show, uh, later hopefully I can show you the demo. So uh, software involved I think basically software involved basically we just use uh, you know, uh basically use Docker and uh, we just we we'll use a version one of AWS Spring Plus. So uh, roughly this is the technical architecture. So. Uh, we, so uh, we we use the Raspberry Pi as the in bus call device, and uh, we can connect to either either we have one or two ESP thirty two connecting to uh, the in bus call. So uh, here's a video for uh, one ESP thirty two uh, that I did. So. So I think you can see on the on the left is the AWS IoT dashboard, and uh, on the on the right is uh, the uh, the Arduino uh, serial monitor. So base, basically, yes, uh, we uh, we ESP thirty two. We normally uh, uh, put your phone your firmware onto ESP thirty two, and also uh, you know that's we connect it to a DHT eleven to get temperature and humidity, and so this is so this is how. We are getting what the the data wirelessly wirelessly onto AWS IoT. So for those in the IoT space, I think we are quite familiar with the uh, AWS IoT. So this is uh this is this this so this is something that we did, did, I think I do on a daily basis. Uh, so as you can see, uh, give me a moment first. So sorry for the video. Uh. So you can see that like, you know it's uh so on, we have a uh, ESP32 that's uh getting uh temperature and DVD data as uh, automatically auto, uh, updating the IoT side. So basically, uh, once this is done, this is done right. If you have any front end application that you want to put on the dashboard and all this, you can uh, build on this uh on this on this uh on this on this part here. Then, if we look at um, um, if you look at two ESP thirty two, uh, if you look at you no, know, if we can, we want to see whether we can do multiple devices. So, uh, basically, it's what uh, I show is basically is possible as well. So, uh, I I classify two uh, ESP thirty two using the SSID. So. One of them is having an SSID of 64, and one of them is having a one, SSID of 148. So the one with SSID 64 is having, uh, you know, having a recording the temperature and humidity data. The 148 is still a then ESP32. I haven't connected it to anything yet. So it's just, just pulling data on it. But uh, you, it's possible you can 
we can put a relay there, we can put a we can put other sensors there as well. So we can and all is posting the same topic onto the AWS IoT core itself. So uh I think uh uh that's uh that's the that's the end of my video demos. But uh, if you want to, I also did some uh, documentation of how to do this. So I will, I will just share my, I just will share uh, on the Facebook group uh, later after the after this whole, whole session. So, okay. so let's, just, let's see whether can, I already connected my Raspberry Pi and all this. So I let me see whether I can uh, do, the, do, do the link up. Okay. I need to change my Wi-Fi, so I don't mind if I just switch to my handphone for a while. Zoom will cut off then. Oh, Zoom will cut off then come back in again. Oh, I can. I can delay it before I come back here. I forgot the Wi-Fi for the internet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, is, is, are there any, any questions? No. Uh, instead of mm -hmm. yeah. that firewall also can be used. Yeah. Which one? Firewalls. Yeah, firewalls you can if you have plenty of uh plenty of uh, devices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what what is the benefit you got from this IoT application? In AWS, there are many IoT blocks, right? Yeah. So well, why you particularly choose the green So uh partly because also uh at the point of time, we saw uh, one ex explore green grass for like uh, each applications. Uh. So uh, in my life, in in one of my current projects with my company, right, we did we have uh, we actually did a uh, we actually now doing a uh, deployment at a uh, for each for each type of applications, icon applications. So we actually put a, a green grass and network gateway there. Although now it's still collecting data, but eventually we want to uh, do some uh, do a couple of edge applications there. However, it's still uh, I mean the on the on the on that side, uh, the requirements are not clear yet for the customer. But we we are looking to do we are looking in that direction in the future. Yeah. Okay. I have any questions? Actually, I can say something. So, so we have Raspberry Pi and we have the ESP32 microphone. Yeah. So the actual measurement that we care about is done by the microcontroller. It's done by the microcontroller. Right. So what does the Pi do? This one. Oh, so the Pi is basically I is right now is uh being I, I'm using it as a Wi-Fi extender. I use so I put I when you when I put open WI put WRP OS onto my Raspberry Pi, so I configure it as the Wi-Fi extender. So I, so in a, in a scenario where you are in a building where there's Wi-Fi and there's a wireless sensors, uh, one use case you can possibly uh, come about is you have, you have a quick extender to actually uh, connect to the wireless uh, wireless sensors that will upload uh, that will upload directly to the cloud. But ESP32 already has connection. Yes, for, yeah, but I mean it's a good way to collect all the data together in that sense. Because uh, I mean there there are I will admit that there are other there are few there are plenty of ways to work to do these kind of things. Just that uh for this case when you when you have when there's a specific requirement to use a new AWS grass as on on the gateway itself. So this this is a very good function uh to uh to collect your to collect all your sensor data which which could be on ESP to to be paid to really. So the well, ESP32 is like talking so much to the protocol with the file that the file. Yes. So green pass is just like MQTP broker, right? Something like that. For this, for this demo, is that for uh, that for the time being. Yeah, but eventually, I think if because in my in my in my one of, my, one of the commercial applications I'm doing. Because uh, I'm using a I'm using a green grass enabled gateway as well. I actually have to make XML requests to the to the controller that I'm attaching my Raspberry Pi to. So uh, I need mean, so that's where actually the green grass function can come in handy because I can put a lambda function on the green grass itself and 
and then it down and, and goes goes to the rest very high. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh all right. So uh any more questions? I would like to uh, is the MPP also take some pressure with the Google Because I think by default it's not, right? Yeah, yeah. So that, that is something we will look at. Uh, uh, we, will look, we will look at in the, for my commercial side, we will look at in the, first we are still in the POC stage. So we, we are looking at that in the, in, the, in the near future. But if you have like suggestions on the encryption, I, I'm open to hear. So you have a company, right? But you developed in um, Arduino. No, no, I work in a company, so we develop an uh, entity IoT solution. What do you use as uh, IP, uh, I don't know, the IP IP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, I mean, for, to put, uh, I mean, to enable the ESP32 to start uh, publishing messages to the, to the AWS site, we, yeah, we use, uh, we use uh, uh, the Arduino code to do that. No, no, yeah, the code, but as like, uh, um, as a tool, we use the Arduino um, IDE. I don't know what IDE stands for. Uh, oh, yeah, I do. I do. IDE, yes. So you don't. So, well, I mean, okay, I have many questions. Maybe we should have a lot of Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we'll move on. Thank, thank you. That's all. Okay. Uh, show the Maybe I'll do a for the demo again, and then I'll take. Do you have any questions? And later on, I think after 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 lunch.